Yep, we got them. We got them. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and what you see here is my brand new 22 inch E Series Blackstone Indoor Griddle. Now, let me just show you what came out the box. I'm excited. Let's get it. All right, let's do a final tour around this thing. Now it's all hooked up. Well, the stand's not hooked up yet. We're going to get to that in a second. I'm not going to be using my stand, but I'm going to be using it, but not with this machine. I would have bought it without the stand for the same price. So the stand to me is a bonus. Plug action here, guys. Nice long cord. Drip tray. Yep, and this is the other side. No big deal. Oh, this is going to be fun. A bunch of screws. It's fun. Got your wheels here. <laughs> and that is the rest of the stand. It doesn't look too bad, but yeah. Get your screwdrivers out. <laughs> so for me, guys, this 22-inch will be replacing my 17-inch indoor Blackstone. Right there. In that spot. So guys, you're just losing width with the 17 inch because the length is the same. It's just much wider, which is good. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. But to be honest, guys, I'm just upgrading because of the dual zones. I'm used to dual zone cooking and... The 17 inch, unfortunately, is only a single zone. So, for those of you that don't know what that means, is that, so on the 22 inch, on this side, I could have it on keep warm or off, and put my hot food over here to just chill, and have this side cooking, or vice versa. Whereas this, the whole plate is one temperature. So, I'm not used to that. It might not, might, might not be a problem to other people. Not so much of a problem to me, but I have a choice. I took it. And this is the manual, guys, which at best would tell you, you know, tips and tricks to clean and first use practices and especially how to hook up that little cart stand thingy for sure. This wasn't in the manual, but it's on the box, so I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. So go ahead and pause and get the dimensions and all that stuff. 1600 watts yep that's what I wanted to know cool beans and I forgot to mention this first of all this is a Walmart exclusive right now you probably could see that eBay for a slightly more um, it's 197 at Walmart you can only buy it. I bought it online at Walmart shipped it to my house you cannot pick it up at Walmart right now I don't think you'll ever I, you may not ever be able to but right now they're shipping it at Walmart.com it's 197 dollars the cooktop is ceramic. I forgot to mention that. It's fantastic. I love it on my 17 inch. I'm sure it'll be just as fantastic with the 22 inch. And that's about it for my unboxing, guys. I just want to test this little stopper thing um, to see it work. It works on my 17 inch. I want to see how it works on the 22 inch if it fits. And why we do this is because this ceramic surface is so slippery, guys, that food just starts to gravitate food and of course your juices start to gravitate to this drip tray 
and food with meats, bacon, veggies, sometimes just slide this. It's like it's like a gravitational pull and it goes there. So you put this little stopper thing in there. Can you see it? Oh, I'll lift it up. You just put it in there like that. See like this and it blocks it. Sometimes you don't want to block it, but sometimes you do. Link will be in the description anyway. Let's get cooking. Before we cook, let me wipe it off. Some paper towel and some water. Okay. Go ahead and dry it. Perfect. You don't have to do this step. I'm going to spray some avocado oil on there with my Evo oil sprayer just for my peace of mind but you do not have to do this it's just something that I do on my griddles no matter where what company it's just something that I do I'd either do olive, olive oil or avocado oil it's like a good luck thing in my eyes <laughs> I went live the other day and someone suggested I should make some steak I said that's kind of boring but you know what I kind of want some steak. I have a, a sirloin steak that my meat market cut up into bite size, like cubes. Let it sit there for an hour, marinating in this A1 marinade, Chicago Steakhouse style. Of course, I had to put in what your sister social sauce in there. You know how we do. And of course, my go-to seasoning. Special guest, y'all. We got some red potatoes with onions. And then we got some garlic butter green beans. All right, guys, I'm going to start with the potatoes, red potatoes first. That I bet that would take a little bit longer. I'm going to do four. Eh, I'll do 450. So let's preheat on. We're just going to do the right side. So the right, see it says right zone. It's only right side. We're going to do the steak on the left side and we'll get that going. Uh, maybe five to seven minutes in. So I don't even have the left side on. Isn't that cool? Look what I found in my refrigerator. We'll let the potatoes cook in that. We're getting there, guys. I think on my 17 inch, the last two are orange, so I'll show you when we get there. So go ahead and get your tools out. These are Blackstone um, tools made just for the E Series. You can find this at Walmart. <clears throat> or walmart.com either one in store or online don't matter all right we're just about heated up i think we got one bar left but it doesn't matter i'm gonna go ahead and start to preheat the other side and then once i'm gonna do that at 500 i'm gonna do that at max all right let's not waste any more time here Alright guys, let's close it down, because we can, mm -mm -mm. smelling good, let's go ahead and put them over. Yeah, I was just sliding all over the place, see, St you saw that right, it's trying to it's trying to go. I have to put my goalie in there. I'm telling you. This surface is so slippery, man. And I'm going to just tell you right now, before I even finish the cook, whether it's the 17 inch or the 22 inch, there's no indoor griddle better than these. As good as it gets right here, baby. And that's indoor griddles, not outside griddles, indoor. Although this is consider the 22 inch an outside griddle uh, I don't know <laughs> a plug-in any to me the only thing I'm plugging in is uh, outside is my smoker <laughs> that size looking good let's get our steak cubes on steak bites or whatever Mm. 
Mm, that's no good. Now we keep it real here on cooking with Doug. Now I have noticed ever since I put the cold potatoes from frozen on, it has not got it like it dropped in temp. And it hasn't really been going up. That was not the case with the 17 inch. So um, you're gonna get some temperature drops with this with this 22 inch dual zone that you would not experience per se with the 17 inch one zone. I'm noticing that already. Maybe maybe because it's the first cook, I don't know, I doubt it. But I still love the machine. Just wanted to throw that out there. I wish they would hurry up and make smell a vision because you need to smell this and you know what else I'm about to say this could be you I'm along good guys I think I'm ready to get my beans green beans on here all right you see but that's all good because it's, it's cooked. So I'm going to turn it off. Turn it off. We just push it down. Push it down. And we're off. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect. About to hit the paper tower, y'all. Shout out to the viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. Let's see what we got here. Let's get some potatoes. Ooh, fork tender, of course. Let's get some meat in there. You first. You got it? Mmm. So good. So good. The onions and the potatoes. Red onions and red red potatoes. It's like a match made in heaven, man. I put some um some tiger sauce on all of this. To give it a little bite. You got it? Mm. Perfecto. That marinade was pretty good, guys. I only marinated for like an hour, but you know if I did that overnight, I'd probably be ready to slap somebody who's so good. Have some green beans with me. Alright. Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right, so this has been off for like seven, eight minutes. Paper towel, dry. I'm just gonna wipe away. Nothing new, same, same deal with the 17 inch. Super easy to clean, guys. Super easy. Then I'm gonna get a damp paper towel and wipe it. All right, damp paper towel. We're good to go now. We are ready for the next cook. How good did I do? Let's we'll see how much stuff dropped into the drip tray. Ah, not bad though. Not bad at all. Some liquid there. Okay, I did good. All right, let's hook up the cart. So it says you need a Phillips head screwdriver and an adjustable wrench. That's great. Guys, this is perfect for me. This is perfect for me. Perfect size. Quick disclosure, guys. If you're not accustomed to putting stuff together, 
I suggest you get with someone that can. Because this one, I wouldn't say it was hard, but it definitely wasn't easy. I think after this video, I'm going to unscrew this. I don't need it. Because it's bonus. Wheels are cool, guys. Cool thing about it is you can lock it in place by pushing it down like this, like that. Then if you want to free it up, push that up. Each wheel you can do that with. And by the way, shout out to my plumber, Johnny, for helping me get this together. I started it out, but I was like, cancel Christmas. <laughs> I mean, I would have done it, but I know he was coming over to tweak something that um, he fixed earlier, a couple uh, days ago. So I was just going to just have him go ahead and finish this off for me. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like with the black stone on it, on the cart. And guys, make sure that this is pushed in all the way. I almost got scared this morning because it was a little out and it didn't power on. I was like, oh no, not already. <laughs> so my subscribers know I don't have a stove because that's just not pimp black in 2021 and future. But let me put it around that area so you can get a better, you know, uh, visual of how it would look in your kitchen. So let's say my stove top would be where you see the granite top is. And so we'll go back and see. So this is slightly above. So if you're like really tall, I'm only 5'7", so I don't have to bend. But if you were a 6'3", you would have to bend to use this machine. I mean, you'd have to bend to use your oven as well, you know, your stove top as well. I'll give you another visual. If I kept my 22 inch outside, I might keep it like this. This is one of the ways. By the way, this is my 36 inch propane um, griddle slash air fryer, if you didn't know. Well, let's take a look beside Big Brother, Big Bro. Not bad. Let's put it next to my charcoal grill. Not bad. Honestly, I think if I kept it outside, I would use it right here. But then, shoot, actually, that's the perfect place to, to store it besides my shed because you got the electric outlet right there. See it? And then you're not worrying about the rain. Huh. So if I kept it outside, I'd keep it right there and cart it anywhere I want in my backyard. Now guys, before I go back in, just my personal suggestion is if you're gonna leave this out here, you need some type of cover like this, or technically, I would say after every cook, you either put it in that corner that I had it by my door, or put it into your shed. That would be your best bet just observing guys look if I left this out there look if it was a heavy rain not even winter yet just like a heavy rain with winds water would get right up in there so but to me this is not 
a stay outside griddle. It's going to need some form of shelter when you're done. Definitely all winter and definitely if it starts raining hard. But like I said before, guys, this is where I'm keeping mine. So, and no, the lid doesn't go all the way up here and that's fine. So this is how high it goes. You see, see? So it can't, you know, go all the way up and that's fine because just like with the 17 inch, I'll detach it. Very easy to do and bam. And then what I could do is just manually put the cover back on without connecting it. If I need the hood to, you know, go down to like, you know, like if I want to melt some cheese or whatever, I just put it, I just put it right, plop it right back on top. And look out for many more cooks on the 22 inch and look out for the giveaway on the 17 inch. And guys, just for kicks and giggles, this is what the 17 inch looks like on the cart. That's another option for me. I could use the uh, 17 inch outside and keep the 22 inch inside. <laughs> but no, we're going to look out for a giveaway on the 17 inch. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, I hope I covered everything that you wanted to see. Look out for more cooks on the 22 inch.